like, oh, we spawn right in <laughs> front of her. <laughs> okay. Uh, good day, ladies and gentlemen, and my name is Nerubo. Welcome to our channel. Uh, today, my uh, good friend Jay is going to help us with uh, be a, um, a person who are our victim. And, uh, and we are going to... Uh, talk about how to be a good trapper for beginner guides people and um, I'm gonna explain you how and what we should do my, here's my friend and okay so let's go to en engine first probably yeah okay let here's and just follow me for engine All right, so goal of every survivor is fixing engine. You you fix engine. So every survivor making this kind of noise when engine is fixed. So for example, uh, fail uh, Jay, make sure you fail first kill check. Uh, so when a survivor repairing, uh, every time um, engine gonna give them. Or generator gonna give them skill check, and if we f f fail a skill check, we basically gonna you will s get a get notification for. Well, there's no skill check at all. Yeah, yeah. so if this is kind of gonna be this no notification. So, uh, so usually you can uh, uh, when it's far away you can see like a uh, notification of across a board engine will circle like a big r red circle uh, you oh, if survivor doesn't see you you can pick him up and by picking him up you stop an engine for sake of this video i'm gonna let him actually escape from this yeah and uh, we're gonna cut that out Hi. Right. Yeah. So you can also damage generator and slow down progress of uh, survivors escaping. Uh, uh, for now, I think um, right now uh, in the left uh, bottom we have uh, say five generators, uh, two generators right now because we only have two people on the game. But if uh, if four survivors and one killer, we're gonna have only five generators that start not two so another thing uh, for easy accesses for example if you wanna vault it takes more time for you to vault so instead of vaulting you destroy a door and, and you can come much faster so create your pathways but also it's grant you experience for in the future all right, so Jay, where are you? Jay, come back to generator. All right, let, uh, let's find a killer shack. Where uh, I don't know, just just lead the way. We find a look. For, I think where where is the ch killer shack, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Alright, so it's no I ah, no no it's a balcony here. Okay, awesome, 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 awesome. So this is most common area for looping uh, survivors. Uh, we try. This is the most hardest area to deal with. So our Mr. J and me gonna. Um, so what do we usually do? Survivors runs from you over, uh, and either vault on the window. And you try to come here from the left side, and he's gonna run towards a window, and 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 the, either way, Jay, you you're giving me too much room. You have to run where? Yeah, don't don't drop a pallet yet. So so if he's getting, I'm getting too close, he's gonna drop that pallet on me and stun me. So make sure you don't get stunned. It, and Jay, you you need to blind me properly. So for example. If we try to destroy a pallet, and you see he blinded me with flashlight. So point is, make sure actually survivor run through, 
and Jin do um, Jin the Jin uh, blind you during the pilot. Another way to stop preventing from running, uh, you as a uh, you can put a trap and instantly gonna trap him over here. So and uh, let me uh, let me help Jay from this misery. Hey, what? Pick up, Jay, please. Go, Arnold. I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> anyway. Alright, just heal yourself. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna be behind a bush. You disarm that uh, trap. So, uh, if pe uh, somebody disarm a trap, don't not step on it. Right. Gee. Yeah. So we need. So every time a trap get uh, disarmed, is gonna get notification sent, like this. Yeah. You can see a notification get sent. So that mean, for example, if a killer shack to stop uh, looping, you can trap uh, two entrance this way, and. Killer Shack is no longer lootable because now he cannot, don't have, doesn't have any room to go. We block left side, we block right side. Oh, you can block this side of a door. Let me, let me help you. Oh, yeah, you're, oh, you're good. Okay, okay, good. So, just heal yourself, Jay. Uh, Alright, so... Uh, let's go find an actual pilot. Alright. Yeah, yeah. We need a good pallet somewhere. Alright, where's the pallet? We need a pallet. There's all pallets. There's no pallets. What the hell? Oh, here's a pallet somewhere here. Yeah. Okay. 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 okay drop a pallet. Drop it. All right. So uh, now run circle. So circle and vault when I'm getting close to you. So you're in the situation. All right, Jay. Come on. You can do better than that. You're in the situation when you're running around and the survivor is looping you here. And you kind of get to him close, and when he, when he you getting close, he, please wall right now. Yeah, so you kind of injure him, but you don't want you don't want to waste time. What you can do, you set up your trap right here at the vault, so now he cannot wall anymore. So if, even now we can try to loop this, and he gonna try to now he cannot do this. So. What what you can do originally, uh, if you know you see pallet, you can preset up this trap here. Make sure it's close to actual area where it's you know and hidden on the grass because otherwise it's not gonna be working for you guys. Yeah, so this way, if you don't want to destroy a pallet and set up a, like a smart trap to trap uh, your survivor on a smarter way, so. Okay, so what next? Uh, uh, yeah, dead heart. De oh, no, stop healing, man. Stop healing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, dead heart. So when when you're chasing survivor, okay, you're about to hit him, and he can do use E, and you can miss him. Dead heart is usually one time perk cooldown of 30 seconds. But after that heart is, uh, he have to um, rest for stop running for some time to exchange uh, uh, to finish up. Uh, so he cannot recover his dead heart while he's um, he is exhausted. So you, uh, uh, dead heart usually resets 
after you get hooked out. So y if you're on a hook uh, and you somebody else saving him, uh, their heart is ready to go usually, or their heart usually works when he's injured. So now his their heart should be available to use again if I if I know properly. I think so. Yeah. Uh, let's go um, finish uh, both engine. Oh yeah, yeah, hooks. But if I'm gonna kill you, man, uh, it's yeah. So every survivor you wanna. Uh, 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 we're not gonna do. Ah yeah, yeah. But, but, but I can add that out later. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's finish engine. So one one engine's here because I wanna explain about gates as well. Come here. Come 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 inside here. We have a. We have uh, we have an engine here. Do 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 this engine. So one while my friend is doing engine, I'm gonna uh, uh, explain about hacks. So hacks are you see your abilities on the right side. This is all your important abilities. What make your life easier. So if for example, right now he's cl uh, right now he's enchanting to his hacks and um, putting bonuses for himself. But sometimes pl people just cleansing them. So if uh, hacks gonna be cleansed, and right now we didn't lose any abilities because he have a kill yourself. Uh, so we can if you see blue, that means it was. Uh, Corrupted by survivor, so you want to uh, well blessed by survivor, but corrupted by me. <laughs> anyway, blessed by survivor, and so what you want to do, you just want to shut it off by pressing space. Totem snuffed out, and uh, we lost all the bonuses for that. All right, let okay, Jay. Let's uh, I I just wait for you to uh. To finish that engine and yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're gonna get to Hatch uh, as soon as you finish engine, buddy. We're gonna. Uh, I want to explain gates and hatch at the same time. So um, while we waiting for Jay to finish in the engine, um, if your game is not going your way, and you know you probably gonna lose, is like three or four survivors, and it's only one or two engine left, and uh, probably you wanna start doing the smart thing. You see a gate, uh, close to a gate, you set up your trap like this. And uh, Jay, j please find another engine for me, and start working on it. And you want to do same thing exactly with um, um, you want to do same s exactly thing on the second engine or uh, second gate. So you need to find a second gate and make sure where is the second gate? No, hatchet is too early, man. I know where is hatchet is. Yeah, no, 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 no. F uh, do one engine. F uh, finish one engine. All right, here's the second gate. So we are on the last engine right now, and you want to both both gates are trapped. So we're not uh, now. If it's two or three more survivors, usually hatch is close unless it's only one survivor only. So now both our gates are. Uh, protected. F so, let's wait for Jay to finish.
All right, let's go, Jake. All right, let's go to this gate. So, on this situation right now, gates are protected by traps. So, a survivor either can uh, step on it right now, what Jay did, or probably we will try to disarm it beforehand. Both ways, you're gonna get receive notification um, from a. Uh, if trap is gonna uh, trigger or J start opening the gate. So, for example, you are a killer and uh, you check one gate. Both gates gonna be lining up. One on the, just open it 99% for me. And second is on the right side. So you're gonna always be, as a killer, you're gonna always be here. So you see a survivor, like opening the gate. No, no, keep opening the gate for a sec. Ah, I, I was well, I want I wanted to pick up, pick you up. Let, let's go to let's go to different gate. Yeah, right, we're gonna have to edit that out. So um, yeah. So what I was thinking, you can either hit them or you can um, pick them up while they're opening the gates. It's a very important thing too. Uh, let me uh, uh, let me take that trap from you. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, man. Alright, alright, let's do this. So, uh, when a survivor opens in a gate and he is not paying attention, what you can do, you can pick him up and or you can uh, strike him and so he goes on the ground. So, and last tip before we have a run out of a time. Uh, where is that hatchet? I know it's somewhere here. Alright, Jay, run to hatch. But don't jump yet. So, when there is one last player remaining, and you will have this kind of hatch, it's usually hidden somewhere. So, Watch as a killer, you want to find it because the last survivor, if you kill three survivors and only one left, you want to come to it and close it. So now only way to for them escape, forget about a hatch, is the gates. All right, uh, Jay, is no point in escaping. Come here. <laughs> We're going to hook you up now. This is going to be final part of your day. All right, so... And the last part about the uh, hook. So... If you want to win, you need to hook them up two or, two or three times. But because uh, Jay is only one person here, he's going to die right away. So this is one hook. He's going to turn to second hook here. This is a second hook right now. And uh, this is a final first hook. And a uh, survivor will die completely. So... I hope this video was helpful for you guys, and if it is, uh, like and subscribe, and... Oh yeah, also, you saw time running down. So if time running down and survivor didn't escape, survivor will die by time is ended completely. So, important part for you, make sure uh, when time collapse triggered, make sure as many survivors stay in the game, they didn't escape. If they will escape, that means uh, we will survive and you will lose. Okay, Jay, you can unmute yourself. Jay, you can unmute yourself. Uh, uh, I, I just wondering. You think... Uh, I'm not... Stop. Yeah, yeah, I stopped recording now. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know how...